Great looking weather picture for us today. We do have a fair amount of that haze we're dealing with still from those West Coast wildfires, but the sunshine otherwise will reign supreme. We had a lot of that yesterday. Here's a picture from La Crescent. If you see the setting sun and that interesting color array there uh, along the, the horizon, almost disappearing before it even reaches the horizon in that thick haze along the uh, western sky, but uh, across the bluffs from La Crescent. Here's William Guise's picture uh, from last evening, and uh, certainly we'll have a similar situation today. A cold front is coming through uh, that eventually will lead to some changes in the, in the amount of haze we'll see. There will be a, an overall pattern shift at least for a couple of days, but uh, today still we're, we'll be dealing with the, that uh, the bright sky with the, the haze and so far this morning waiting for some sun. We have more than an hour to go before that happens, but that's Austin live with our Lewis Donato camera here in Rochester 61. Not a bad morning by seasonal standards. In fact, rather mild southwest winds have been working to draw on that dry uh, warm air. 2.57 air pressure uh, falling 29.95 inches of mercury 50s low 60s on the map 64 right now in Winona Rochester 61 Austin 57 and 61 degrees in Charles City skies are generally clear aside from some of that haze that may be limiting the, the uh, number of stars we can see overhead and certainly uh, changing the appearance of the sky during the daylight hours. But there is that cold front on its way that will swing through the area uh, by really shortly after sunrise. Give it a three or four hour span of time here and behind that we will have a few fair weather clouds. Now as the haze remains aloft, we're going to see that, but also as the front moves in, there may be just enough of that mixing that we may for a brief period of time may be able to, to detect some of that uh, haze closer to ground level. Maybe a little bit of that smokiness. Uh, that is a possibility as, as winds get just a little gusty right behind the front around 15 to 25 miles per hour, but uh, not an air quality issue at this point. Very uh, dispersed uh, layer of that haze with those gusts of wind and it's only going to be a very brief period of time just behind that front. Otherwise, we'll have cool air behind that front for a couple of days. 60 the morning commute temperature by tomorrow. That may be the high temperature or very close to it, so there are some changes on the way today, kind of the transitional day. West winds 10 miles per hour for that morning commute, going from 60 only to the low 70s this afternoon as that cool air is being offset by the sunshine. Just a few fair weather clouds just behind that uh, cold front winds out of the north and northwest 15 to 20 miles per hour through much of the day. Overall high temperatures around 72 this afternoon. And then as we lose the daytime heating, that dry atmosphere, that high pressure coming in, set the stage for a rather chilly night. Temperatures take a tumble quickly. 50s just after sunset, low 40s by tomorrow morning. So we're going to definitely feel a little uh, different uh, situation in the atmosphere. Temperatures tomorrow morning would be about 20 degrees cooler than this morning. Just to give you perspective. 48 right now, War Road, 46 in Minot will be even cooler than that, but this time tomorrow, 61 right now in Rochester, Oskaloosa, 57, Davenport, 54. Weather Almanac, 71 and 50 at typical temperatures this time of the year. So we're warmer than the average uh, low right now, but high temperatures will be close to that average as we see that cool air and that sunshine, though, working together at least to keep us pretty close to the seasonal average. Cold front moves through, some fair weather clouds for a couple of hours, kind of a cool northwest breeze at times 20 to 23. 24 miles per hour, at least for a couple of hours early in the afternoon. High pressure comes in, clear skies, light winds, lows in the low 40s. Up north, there'll be frost advisory headlines outside of our area. And then tomorrow with light winds and clear skies, only around 60 or low 60s for high temperatures. Heading into Friday, a few fair weather clouds come in from the west. A little weak disturbance brings at least a thin layer of clouds with a limited sun, only low 60s Friday before more of a southerly fetch that wind draws in some warmer air. And we'll begin to see the changes. Warm air mass comes in for the weekend, mid 60s return Saturday and then eventually 70s by Sunday and next week. Temperatures most of next week actually warmer than the seasonal average. Right now 71. That climate average will be around 72 in Rochester, 74 Mesa City and 70 in Albert Lee with some haze, some sunshine and a kind of a moderate north wind around 20 miles per hour at times. Light winds and clear skies 41 tonight. Seven day forecast, uh, another cool couple of days ahead of us. Low 60s for highs, low 40s for lows on Thursday and Friday. Then we turn things around and we start warming things up. 70s become the rule again Sunday and pretty much all of next week. And not many rain chances. There's that one and a small chance of that on Monday. Sounds good. Thank you.